In this video, you'll see how to simplify data sharing with AWS Data Exchange for AWS Lake Formation Preview. With Lake Formation, you can define LF tags and assign them to data catalog resources in order to assign permissions for AWS Data Exchange to manage access for subscribers. To get started, let's navigate to the AWS Lake Formation console. For the purposes of this demo, we have a sample data set in Amazon S3 that has already been crawled with AWS Glue. Access to the Glue Data Catalog database and table is managed by Lake Formation. Let's view the data lake permissions. By default, AWS Lake Formation sets permissions to all databases and tables to a virtual group named IAM Allowed Principles. To provide more granular permissions, we'll need to first revoke the defaults. Next, let's quickly confirm the cross account version setting for AWS Lake Formation is set to version 3. Now we'll grant permissions to data catalog resources using Lake Formation tag based access control. Let's add an LF tag. An LF tag is a key value pair that can be used to label and filter table columns, tables, or databases. You can then grant permissions to principals based on these LF tags to control access to the resources. Now, let's return to the table and assign our LF tag to it. We'll assign the tag to the database as well. Next, we'll need to grant Identity and Access Management, or IAM, permissions for the LF tag so that AWS Data Exchange can manage permissions for subscribers. Let's go to IAM to take a quick look. We have already created an IAM role in a trust relationship with Data Exchange, with the appropriate Lake Formation permissions to manage AWS Resource Access Manager, or AWS RAM, resource shares. AWS RAM helps with cross account data sharing of AWS Lake Formation datasets. You can preview a sample policy in the description section of this video. Let's return to the AWS Lake Formation console and grant the data lake permissions. We'll grant read only access to the role we created for the tagged resources. We'll add the LF tag we created. Next, Let's choose the access permissions that will grant to the resources matched by the LF tag, as well as which grantable permissions AWS Data Exchange can grant to subscribers. Now, we'll create a data set with AWS Data Exchange. Let's open the AWS Data Exchange console. Under Owned Datasets, we'll create a data set. We'll use the Lake Formation Data Permission dataset type. We'll name the dataset and give it a description. We'll create the dataset and continue. Next, we'll add our LF tag. We can preview the resources to see all the ones with the LF tag. Each of these resources will be licensed with this dataset. Next, we'll select the role we created and create the Lake Formation data permission. The job has completed. Let's finalize the dataset. Now that the dataset is finalized, it can be used to create products. You've just seen how to simplify data sharing with AWS Data Exchange for Lake Formation. You can learn more about this topic in the description and links for this video. Thanks for watching. Now it's your turn to try.